It's early June and the garden is just starting to give us fresh food to eat. Today I'm harvesting my first zucchini and we're going to have fried zucchini for supper. Let's get at it. I don't like to let the zucchini get too big because they can get pithy and full of seeds. This one is the perfect size for some delicious zucchini dishes. I have a few more coming on so we should be eating zucchini many different ways this summer. Before you start making your fried zucchini you need to gather the following ingredients all-purpose flour, an egg, panko breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and any other seasonings you would like to add. We like a touch of onion powder and garlic powder. You will also need three bowls to make three dips to get a crunchy zucchini. In the first bowl, mix flour, salt, and pepper. The amounts of each will depend on how much zucchini you are going to be frying. We only have the one zucchini, so I won't need much of each dips, and I'm going to start with about a half a cup of flour, then add a bit of salt and pepper. In the next bowl, I'm going to scramble one egg. If you're making a large batch, you may want to scramble multiple eggs, but you can always scramble one at a time as you need it. In the last bowl, you will need about a fourth of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and whatever other seasonings you want to add. You may want to go light on the salt. No one wants over-salted food. Mix this up well. Slice your zucchini about a quarter of an inch thick. First coat the slices in the flour mix, then dip them in the egg, and finally coat them with the panko breadcrumb mixture. Then place the slices on the rack to rest until you have all the slices coated. It's important to do each step. Flour, egg, panko, and then rest. This will help everything stick to the zucchini and not fall off as you fry it. So you will want to set up a rack to place the coated zucchini so it can rest before it goes into the hot oil. I like to place the rack on a cookie sheet to catch anything that doesn't stick to the zucchini. The cookie sheet can help keep the mess contained. Now put about a quarter of an inch of your favorite oil into your pan and heat it to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit before you add the slices. Carefully place the zucchini into the hot oil one at a time until you have a single layer covering the pan. Allow the slices to fry for two to three minutes on one side before turning them and frying for another two to three minutes or until they're golden brown. Use a slotted spoon or tongs to remove the slices to a rack so the excess oil can drain off. This will help keep the slices crispy. If you're making a large batch of fried zucchini, you can place the draining rack in the oven set on the lowest temperature possible to keep it warm while you fry the rest of the zucchini. I'm only making a small batch, so I'll have everything done soon. Fried zucchini isn't something you want to eat very often, but it is a delicious treat every once in a while. Thank you for stopping by the Old Mayfield Place today. Enjoy your zucchini and have a blessed week.